Hello Diary. I had a terrible night. I, uh, I'm not sure if it was because of dreams or all the country music I've been listening to, which I love. But a couple of tunes got got bombed in my brain, and all I could it was all I could do to not keep repeating the words of some of the, a couple country tunes as I was fighting off memories. I didn't want to get up and make one of these. I couldn't go anywhere. It was like being frozen. I remember one of my birthdays, not the last, but the one before. My wife and daughter were taking me to this Belgian place, and my I sat down with my wife, Jenny, and Sophia had arranged to get Forrest. Blew my mind. And he was out on the street, evidently avoiding being seen by me as I went into the little place. And then she said, I'll be right back and came in with him and I burst into tears I know these videos have seen me quite fragile in teary ways but I don't cry very much or I hadn't but when she brought him in, I just, I cried. And I couldn't stop. And part of it is because I was so happy. But the other part of it is because life is so fragile. And, and then I know that Forrest was in Georgia, at least in my mind, to keep him away from New York, New York City, Brooklyn, Garrison, Cold Spring, all the places that he had done heroin and partied that way with his whatever, his friends. And so seeing him, you know, come back healthy and beautiful That was, that was my response. I used to weep pretty deeply when I would go visit him and then I'd be leaving and he would say, Dad, and I'd be like, I can't help it. I love you so much. I was so proud of him. I would be like at his jobs, like he had restaurant jobs, I'd go eat there. I'd just watch him. I'm sorry. I wanted to say something about karma. I do not believe in a God or in any of the gods. I do really believe those are all made up by human beings who are trying to explain. I do, it's not a belief, I accept uh, cause and effect 
I also believe that nature is the greatest of mysteries and we are nature. So my life is full and rich with real spirituality. It's just, it's not fake, you know. Um, but cause and effect or karma. I realized that Forrest must have done 50 things. I also realized that he was years more clean than I originally thought, maybe up to five years clean. You know, so at what point, look, there's a helicopter and a butterfly. At what point did he decide, I'm going to do this? And I've been studying this gentleman's book who writes about violence. And he said to predict violence, there, there are predictors, you know, to, to find out when someone is born or when they're pulling the trigger, both those things are not as relevant or as useful as before he pulls the trigger, before he gets to the place where violence is. Um, and I've just been replacing the word violence with the word heroin. And at what point, you know, did Forrest make uh, a justification saying whatever it is, because there was one like, hey, this is okay, or I deserve this, or, or fuck it, you know, or, or whatever his justification was. Like, I've been so good for so long, I'm going to just quietly party, which is how we all m more or less think this went down. Um, but, you know, then comes alternatives, this idea of like, well, what, what else could I do? And if there's nothing else that's going to make him feel like that, he goes on to consequences. And he must have weighed the consequences, even if it was just for a moment. And this is the part that's really difficult to me, that with everything going for him, and all the people that loved him, and I know he wasn't expecting to die, at least I don't think he was, unless I get into cosmic whatever, you know, let's just say a 23 year old who puts his headphones in, lays down on the bed after he shoots up to listen to music after hanging with his roommates, has school the next day. I, I don't know, I don't understand it. I don't understand why, why he would do that, but I don't think he wanted, wanted to die. But I do think he thought of the consequences and must have said at some point, I can handle it, or that won't happen to me, or, or maybe something a little bit darker, like heroin is more compelling, the high is more compelling than everything else. And it's worth all the detrimental, all the detrimental bullshit that comes with it, all the sickness, all the heartbreak, all the death, all the money, all the bullshit, the lying, the manipulating, the <sighs> what an awful drug at least from this vantage point. And then finally, the ability. That, that was like the last thing, was the, a person's ability after they weighed the consequence, like could he do it? And upon reading his, his text messages, he really, had to go through a little few S shapes 
to pull it together. So all of these things led to my son's death. It wasn't just that night. 